lobsters have feelings? A new study says who cares. But first, investigative reporter Matthew Starr brings us a story about fecal contamination mm -mm, of Matt, our no, sewage. Matt, no. I didn't do that story. That story was literally shit. No, I'm here to announce that I'm better than that, and I am hereby resigning from UCB1. Matt, you're a journalist. You don't have any other marketable skills. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. But you can say so long to Matthew Starr, investigative journalist, and say hello to Matthew Starr, private investigator. Roll it. The office of Vinnie Parco, private eye. One of the most prominent gumshoes in the Big Apple. It was the biggest interview I'd landed in my career. Come in. It was a job interview. You know, when I interview somebody who wants to be a private, like, come for a job, and I pick their brains to see what, what they want to do, how they want to do Something it. About, like, what's, like, a possible scenario you would ask them? Okay, I got a case for you. Great. I have a guy coming into town. His wife calls me from um, Chicago. My husband's going to be in New York City for about uh, three or four days. Okay. Uh, I know what hotel he's staying at, but I don't know what room number. Mm -hmm. I want you to see if he's fooling around with some, some woman. How would you set up a surveillance to follow this guy? Vinny had sized me up and figured me a lightweight, a patsy, a nobody. But the case was a cinch. I would probably try to form a relationship with one person at the desk just to ask when he's there and when he's not, uh, if possible. Not going to happen. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Smith, there's a guy asking questions about you in the lobby. Sure. And you're going to blow it. Going to blow it right there. Wow, I blew that real fast. Vinny was tougher than I thought. His cue ball eyes sat in quiet judgment, so I hit him with my best shot. So the first thing I would do is I would rent a costume that would be dressed up as a person who works as maybe a bellhop. And I would try to gain his trust by carrying his bags. That's really stupid. Well, there's different procedures. You know, one of the things is uh, we, 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 we call the front desk from our outside phone and we say, can I have uh, Mr. Roberts' room? When they give you the room, uh, we do a room service gag. Hold on, room service gag? Yeah. And so then, that's the real thing is a room service right, gag? Right. And then th that's how you find out what room he's in. I thought of that idea. I thought that sounded too dumb. Like, no, you can't no, no, just no. go in through the then room once service. Once you find out what room he's in, mm -hmm. you get a room in the same hotel. Now, if he brings a girl or a woman in the hotel, you already have a room there. Right. But his hand's on her ass, then you know there's something going on. Hand on the ass, something's that's going a on. Give, that giveaway. I want you to be honest with me right now. Do you think I have what it takes to be a private investigator? No. No? No. Not at all? Not at all. I, I grew up in the Bronx. That says it all. I'm from Ohio. Oh, no, so. Ohio. Uh, yeah, can I come back here? I can, I can, oh, can I stay yeah. here? I unresign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I unresign. This is your home. You yes. don't even have to unresign. Yeah. We only have one more video, though. Shit. Ever. Ever. Shit. Still, though, good to have you. It's whatever time you're watching this, and our news has been your news. I could stay awake just to hear you sleeping. It's breathing. We're doing the whole thing. While you're far away and dreaming. Nailing the lyrics. Yeah. I could kiss your eyes and send you back to heaven. You haven't clicked to subscribe yet. I don't know what you're doing. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure.